do another fashion video. So this video I'm going to be concentrating on the summer essentials. If you are familiar with my closet essentials, like the top 10 pieces to have in your closet for a killer wardrobe, if you haven't seen that, I will definitely leave it here or you can check the description box down below. I feel like those are the pieces that are going to last you for years and years and years and years to come. They're classics. So I definitely wanted to do that, but be specific to the summer season. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. Let's go ahead and start with the first essential, which is a button down shirt. So I definitely mentioned this in my top 10 closet essentials, just like your basic white button down classic shirt. But for summer, I would say go for something linen. Linen is breathable and do so much with it. You can either layer it as a swimsuit cover up. You can tie it up in a little knot and wear it with jeans or you can just tuck it in with trousers. You can definitely wear this not only this summer, but next summer, the summer after that, the summer after that. It's definitely gonna carry throughout your life. My next essential, so I mentioned again in that video, denim. So denim, of course, is a classic. I'm sure all of us have denim. But for the summer, I think a nice pair of white denim looks so fresh, especially when you pair it with other white items. Again, you can go with whatever cut you want. If you want more of a skinny jean, if you want more of a wide leg, the possibilities are endless. Definitely find which one your favorite one is, but white denim is something that I always bring out for not only summertime, so I'm not like, I love a, like a winter white on white action too, but for some reason like white denim, like denim in particular just screams summer to me. So another essential that I have already mentioned in that 10 closet essentials, but you can definitely bust it out and I feel like it is the jacket. For the summer is the denim jacket. I like to pair this with dresses, with denim shorts, even like my gym clothes. Like I wear denim jackets with everything in the summer because it's nice and lightweight. It's cotton, so it's very breathable. I don't feel overly hot, but definitely when it gets a little bit more drafty, either in the early mornings or later in the evening, I always go for a denim jacket. I feel like it's a really nice way to chill anything out. I feel like everything is just like more chill and casual in the summertime. So the next summer, staple for me and I feel like it is the easiest no-brainer outfit are definitely sets I freaking love a set I love a set more than like a dress or a jumpsuit where it's just kind of like one and done and you're, you don't really need much help styling because that is the outfit I really love those kind of like I don't have to think about this going with this but what I really like about sets is that you can obviously mix and match you don't have to wear them as a set of course it's great when you don't want to think about what to wear you can just pair those together but you can also make new and interesting outfits so you can wear like the pants with like a band tee or a white tee or whatever tee or even like mix up prints together which makes a really great interesting outfit or you can take the top pair with denim a little blazer or something you can just have so much fun with it make it super versatile I love to take sets when I travel because of that versatility and I can get like two three outfits out of just that set and like other pieces in my wardrobe I definitely see them more pop up in the summertime versus like winter summer staple for sure another no-brainer for the summertime is obviously swimwear what I have noticed in this particular summer season and even like a little bit of last year but definitely a lot more one pieces I feel like because I have such a short torso um, one pieces aren't like the most flattering for me but what I do like about them is the versatility again you can just throw on shorts you can throw on jeans and it can kind of double as a bodysuit and you can just go from like the beach to a lunch or the pool to a dinner <laughs> so you can treat it as a bodysuit and you're not so like obviously in a bikini it just looks like a bodysuit like I'm saying so definitely a bathing suit is a summer essential but I think right now a one piece is very chic and versatile and you can do a lot with it so that is my summer essential for this summer in particular another summer essential I would say is a versatile dress I feel like this dress is a really great example of a versatile dress because it does have like a sheen so I can definitely dress this up depending on how I accessorize it how I do my hair and makeup what shoes I wear with it it can definitely be like super fancy I feel like I can take it to like a really nice dinner I can wear it to like a summer night wedding or I can pair it with sneakers like messy hair maybe like not so much makeup and it'll just look very like street style cool like more casual I feel like essentials should be something that you can wear time and time again just depending on how you accessorize them so I feel like something like this you can definitely take from day to night I had some issues with the fit I'm super flat so it might fit totally different on you 
It's from Zara. What I really love about this dress though is that it's not necessarily like a maxi dress, but because it has that rouge detail where it kind of puts that like slit in the dress, I really feel like this is the kind of dress that you can take from day to night. Something in that realm I would suggest as a summer essential as far as like dresses go. My next essential isn't necessarily like one piece, it's more of a material slash finish. Eyelet to me screams summer in 1999 and 2009 and 2019 like eyelet is always something that pops up in the spring and in the summertime. You can do a top, you can do a dress, you can do a skirt, you can do like so many different things but I freaking love eyelet. I think it's super fresh especially when it comes in white. I just feel like it's so complimentary to every skin tone. So the next summer essential, maybe it's not an essential for everybody but if you are okay with showing your legs I would definitely say get yourself some denim shorts. I'm sure you guys have some. My favorites are like redone or just taking a pair of like thrifted Levi's and just cutting them. I love like a Levi's cut off. Those are my personal favorites and I feel like those are definitely ones that are going to stand the test of time. I just think anything Levi's just stands the test of time. They've been around forever and they are going to continue to thrive, I think. Again, another very versatile piece. I feel like you can throw any freaking top and they will pair well with denim shorts. Denim shorts are definitely a great foundation for the summertime to just build on any outfit. So the next categories that I want to get into are definitely shoes and accessories that are specific for the summertime. Well, let's go ahead and start with shoes. So shoes, I wanted to call out white sneakers. White sneakers are definitely something that I mentioned in my top 10 shoe essentials. I feel like they are a no-brainer for the summertime. I find myself reaching for white sneakers, especially like the Reebok, the classic Reeboks right now. I'm like having a love affair with them for the past like year, to be honest. I love these shoes. I feel like they go with anything. They are the most comfortable. I feel like it can chill out any dress like when I wear it with this, but again, it looks really great with like denim, with trousers, with shorts, skirts, literally anything. I feel like if you don't really know what to wear your outfit with, just try to see what a white sneaker will look like with it and more often than not, it'll go. So the next summer shoe essential is definitely a sandal. You can't go wrong with sandals. So if you're looking for the most essential, classic, sandal I would say go for like very clean lines that most closely matches your skin tone I would say is like probably your safest bet that you can wear again and again and again and it's gonna go with anything in this video I did go for something with a pattern it's a little bit more chunky I just wanted to have a bit more fun with it but I just feel like any sandal in general I personally feel that shoes is something that you can have the most fun with and it can really amp up or elevate your outfit or chill out your outfit so just depending on what style you're going Going for but in general I would just say a sandal of course is a summer essential so the next summer essential is a hat I feel like for this particular summer summer 2018 a boater hat is great I feel like it's so chic like vacation vibes I got this one in Thailand actually last summer and I feel like it still can carry on even until next year I don't see it going out anytime soon I don't think it's like a classic this boater is a classic but it's definitely having a moment right now I really love straw hats. I feel like it gives such a fresh vibe again. For summer, I'm all about that like fresh vacation, like French kind of vibe. I feel like that is what this hat serves. Another accessory that of course we see every summer is sunglasses. I mean, sunglasses are a year round thing, but we see more and more of them in the summertime. They're definitely marketed a lot heavier because the sun is out. So I feel like this summer in particular, the micro shades, like the matrix shades, the small sunglasses trend is still very much thriving through the year, but they are getting an update. I feel like every summer we see like more of the color tinted, so like either rose tinted or blue tinted or some kind of color tinted lens. So I feel like those are just making their way into the micro shades. I really like the micro shade trend. I think they're really cool. And I personally think that if you want to play up into what's really, really trending at the moment, accessories are the way to do it like where you're gonna look current if you do care about the trends also aviators I feel like aviators every summer not just this summer but I feel like every summer is something that we see more and more of and I really love an aviator it gives me like those JLo feels and like all those like hot sexy videos that she was in in the early 2000s <laughs> but sunglasses in general I would definitely say are a really great way to accessorize in the summertime and have fun with different kinds of lenses and they can really really transform your outfit and 
elevate it and change it up depending on whatever frame you choose. The next accessory that again I think is having a moment right now but we have been seeing it you know in past summers and I feel like we will continue to see them as well. Um, in the next couple of years is basket bags, basket bags, woven bags, they are everywhere. So either like a round basket bag or like square basket bags. I have found so many of these at thrift shops so definitely check out your local thrift shop if you don't want to spend too much on this like trendier item. But I feel like these kind of basket bags, these woven bags are definitely things that we see in the summertime so I definitely wanted to include it in this video. But I really love adding this like raw element into my outfits. I feel like again it kind of dresses it down, just gives you that summer feel, makes you feel like you're on vacation. So those are all of my summer essentials. I really hope you found some summer inspiration through this video as well as you feel really confident in how to mix and match all of these essentials not only together but also with things that are already existing in your own wardrobe. These truly will carry you through summer and I really hope you guys liked my picks. Let me know if I left any of your favorites out that you feel like you wear a lot of in the summer. Definitely leave them in the comments down below and I will meet you guys down there so we can discuss everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Also, if you guys are curious about my makeup, this video is coming very soon. I was testing out all flesh beauty, so definitely stay tuned for that video. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!